both institutes use static modeling. Wolfie Passive is a static model. PHPP is a static model. They're both very similar in what they do. Okay, they're static models. They're very easy to run. They make a lot of schmears. They're great for small buildings, much worse for larger buildings. Wolfie Passive, it does have a dynamic two, and you can do a dynamic side there. In our consultancy, and we do mostly large projects, I mean, I, don't, I think we've done one house this year, and everything else we've done has been over 50,000 square feet. We run actually two dynamic models. We run the Woofy model, which has got some really good strengths, and it's got some weaknesses. And then we run another model called IESVE, which is a, uh, an engineering dynamic model, and it's really good for HVAC and other loading like that. And then we sync those two models up to get the most accurate picture, because the Woofy dynamic model and the IESVE model both are really good, but also have shortcomings. But we find when we overlay both of them, we get a really good picture of what's really going on in the building. So, this stuff is not to be taken lightly, and unfortunately, I think, because we've distributed all this knowledge, we haven't kind of distributed what the implications of the knowledge is to everybody yet. So, models are only as good as the modeler, and this is <laughs> Mark Rosenbaum. There are no good models, only good modelers. He's right. He, and Mark Rosenbaum can do an accurate energy model on the back of a napkin. I'm convinced he's one of the best energy modelers I've ever met. They're, they have to be implemented well, i.e. the verification and this rigorous testing inspection, absolutely a must.